Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, ascending masters of our rainbow tribe of heaven on earth. Happy Diwali, this most auspicious day of the Hindu festival of lights, spiritual victory of light over darkness. Divine Mother Goddess Mahalakshmi is with us in these final days of the Kali Yuga of darkness as we rise into the new golden age of the Satya Yuga of Shambhala. All starseed earth angelics connect with their higher self in this now and call in the freedom codes for our divine redemption and dispensations in the light. With these massive energies still flowing in through yesterday's 1111 portal and preparing us for tomorrow's intense new moon in Scorpio, we had a spike in the heartbeat of Gaia with a beam of white light appearing on the Schumann charts at an amplitude of 41 hertz, fifth dimensional energetics fully anchoring in. Pachamama also received a powerful activation today on the Ring of Fire with a magnitude 5.9 earthquake in Papua, New Guinea at 451 UTC. With these dynamic activations, downloads, and upgrades pulsing in, we are having our kundalini rise into the crown chakra, opening heaven's gate, allowing the sacred mana of the nectar of the gods to flow down the central channel, filling our physical vessels with the holy waters of Mother Father God. Stay in your heart's center as the breath of life lifts us into the pure land of Buddha consciousness. As we fulfill our divine missions of full planetary liberation. Aho! Welcome beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful divine decree to raise your vibration. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with divine sister of the light Devyani Singh, Isis Channelings. Diwali, festival of lights on the 12th of November, dark moon heralds the Hindu New Year in alignment with the witches' pagan New Year on Scorpio New Moon, that is Lunar Sawin on November 13th. It is also celebrated as Kali Puja in some parts of India, while Lakshmi Puja is more popular. The new is born from the depth of darkness. Only this time, the dark underworld, the cauldron of death and rebirth, pretty much extended from retrograde season to eclipse season. The divine masculine is undergoing a transformation and throwing caution to the winds as he finally listens to the deep calling of his heart and is joined in the sacred dance by the divine feminine who is playing the last shreds of conformity in the alchemical Samhain fires to fully embody her dark goddess wild woman aspect as finally the divine masculine is ready to hold this potent aspect of the divine feminine first within then without Sacred soul mate contracts that have been in karmic loops for many lifetimes may finally access the highway to their highest potential. Courage will pave the path. Creative destruction paves the way for new beginnings. Wish you a very happy Diwali. May your light shine like a thousand suns. And light in grace and joy. Be the change you want to see. Sake na from isischannelings.wordpress.com and from divine sis star of the light valerie a elster feeling a strong snow ice dragon and industrial ley lines movement today arctic circle tectonic plates pangea alignment happening in the energetic ley lines the snow and ice dragons are complementary pairs working particularly in the caps of the north and south poles grounding the reincarnation of souls into the south entrance and exiting through the north when prompted. 
Some things will be freezing and some things thawing as new islands emerge and islands disappear. Pangea Timeline, Fire and Ice. And today from Divine Broth or of the Light Pars Kute. Update 12 11 2023. The new version of us is now filled with radiant light. All those things that colored our mind will slowly begin to fade away. Our higher self is changing our path at present. It is time for us now to move differently forward and upward. This new version of us cannot and never be dimmed. Within divine love and light of one pars kute. And from divine sister of the light Hana Anoya. New Christo Sophia Central Diamond Sun Cosmic Feminine Queen Bee Mother Consciousness Dialing In Through Lemurian Courts The call is powerful and undeniable and unstoppable Telling stories of our glorious divine remembrance And from Divine Sister of the Light Laura Hazel A Word from the Whales 12th of November 2023 Mass transference of souls move from the lower inharmonic octave into the space of grace via cosmic land gateways. All souls still remaining within the depths of the lower inharmonic echelon are in transition as remaining karmic residue is cleared. Vast influxes of cosmic assistance move into the lower inharmonic octave to assist in harmonization. All spheres of consciousness exhibit greater coherence from the perspective of the human sphere of consciousness. With great love from the Cetacean and Arcturian collectives. From DolphinResonance.org And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Dea Orafim, Azurite. A reminder, what makes human ETs different from Archons is love. That divine spark that ignites within the heart. When you feel, see, touch, absorb this beautiful Terra, her flora and fauna, and her starry skies, stirring up your imagination. They are soulless, unable to create things, while you are divine magical beings. They are nothing without your divine life force, light energy. This is why they are causing more and more chaos, as more of you are awakening to these life-loveless creatures. Divide and conquer is their preferred weapon of choice. They fear love as it drives compassion once you ignite your spark and unite its game over for them. Choose love over fear in your everyday life. Act with loving kindness and compassion. This is how you make it through the chaos and destruction, for their control continues to crumble. Nothing from the old will be the same. There is no going back to their normal. Everything is changing. Those that are willing to change their old and upgrade to their highest version are going through this own distillation process. Those that are not ready to change will magnetize and transition into another resonating timeline. The ending, which is really a beginning, is not for everyone. Welcome to the new. You are loved. Dea Cosmic Blu-ray. And from Divine Broth or of the Light Richard Rudd, Gene Keys, unlocking the higher purpose hidden in your DNA. Gene Key 43, Breakthrough. November 11th through the 17th, 2023. Deafness, Insight, Epiphany. We don't waste energy being someone we are not. We do not follow someone else's purpose. True insight makes life simpler, not more complex. It's funny that the more evolved we become, the simpler we make our lives. It seems to be a mystical equation. Richard Rudd, 64 Ways. And from the Yi Ching, the classic book of change, Hexagram 43, Breakthrough. Heaven hidden beneath the lake. Trust in the enthusiasm of life to reveal the creative light. Epiphany is the bliss of beauty. Insight is vital freshness. Deafness is dissatisfied entropy. The elation of creation. One must resolutely make the matter known as the court of the king. It must be announced truthfully. From GeneKeys.com And from Divine Angel of the Light, Soul Light. The difficult times, which seemed eternal for humanity, are almost over. 
You are in the last days of the third dimensional matrix. As the light is taking over more and more each day, darkness begins to dissipate as timelines grow further apart. Do what you must to remain heart-centered, for the processes in the higher planes in relation to Earth's ascension are complete. It is now time for the higher light's manifestation in the physical realm. The God spark within you transcends all time, space, and dimensions. It is beyond all form. In essence, you are already in every dimension. However, the focus of your awareness at this time is in the experiences and frequencies of the third and fourth dimensions. So no, you are still not fifth dimensional. When the focus of your awareness becomes fifth dimensional and you fully embrace those energies, you will no longer be in embodiment in the third and fourth dimensions. The shift in the energies will only intensify. More opportunities will be presented to you, and for others, only more challenges. You are on earth to observe with the heart of compassion. Love, honor, respect those who have made different choices relating to the process of awakening. If they want to remain of a lesser awareness, then that is their choice. It is done, so for they seek experiences and lessons which can only be offered by a being of a third dimensional consciousness. Tell them they are divine light love in physical form. Speak to them as you would speak to the innocent child, and your work is done. You have planted a seed of light in their consciousness. Practice detachment, have compassion and let go. Enjoy the ride from now to the new year. Find the peace and time for yourself, plenty of rest and water. You will find yourself waking throughout the night and not feeling tired. Of course, there will be days of exhaustion. Meditate, deep breathing as always, focus on the heart center, all the light to you. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light Shea from Numbers by Shea Numerology. 11-12-23, one of the most powerful and uplifting ways to raise our frequencies and improve our lives is simply to choose to be more positive. But there are many reasons why we don't. One, it seems superficial and therefore not very effective. Two, there are too many heavy negative influences and distractions. Three, we don't believe in our ability to maintain it long term. Four, we are afraid of disappointment if we don't feel any better. Five, we are not really sure what we're gaining if we make the effort. But those are a lot of sad excuses for a truly worthwhile endeavor. Today is a practice day, a happy, high-energy, light-filled day. Your right action is to plug into it with all your senses. Choose the good, the fun, the love. Choose happiness, because otherwise you're automatically choosing a lesser frequency than you deserve. And today from Divine Brother of the Light, Diego E. Berman, Ph.D. New Moon in Scorpio, Monday, November 13, 2023, changes in the air. Dear friends, the new moon energies of Monday, November 13, are already arriving and merging with the 1111 light codes we are still processing within our energetic bodies. This powerful combination will push us further into new chapters and deeper inner and outer changes in our realities. New moons bring with them the energies of inner changes and adjustments and offer an opportunity to set the intentions for the birth of new ideas. Scorpio is known to be a brave, resilient sign, but it can also cause us to feel a bit obsessive and controlling, and that may translate in how we deal with our inner feelings. This Scorpio new moon on Monday the 14th will give us the extra push we need to have the dedication, determination, and a dash of bravery to see your ambitions through to the results you desire as we move into 2024. This new moon will set the energetic foundation for processes related to career advancement, envisioning new surprising projects and believing in your inner abilities to carry them on. That said, the planet Mars is having a powerful influence on the energies of this new moon. Mars's proximity to the sun and moon creates energy, initiative, courage, and desire. 
So expect some fiery energy to grow within you that will push you, together with the Scorpio energy, to find the courage you need to finally move forward in your journey. Change and movement is coming this week at the individual and collective levels. The November 13th new moon will also bring ambition, good fortune, and success merged with intellectual and spiritual power. The changes we experience during the recent eclipse quarter will be part of this timeline transformation together with the 1111 gateway and this brave new moon. Get ready to unveil your Amazonian power this week. Have a wonderful new week and new moon, friends. Much love. We are one. From DiegoBerman.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light Erini, Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy, Athens. The 144,000 Diamond Code, we are grafting the tree. We successfully completed our group gathering today. Thank you again for answering the 144,000 Diamond Calling. Update. Bringing the personal 144,000 diamond code to the tree of life. It is us grafting the tree. We are telling the tree to change. We are giving the tree a different direction, new information, a different command. We are showing the tree how to interact with the purified elements from now on and how to grow new fruits, the fruits of light. This process is a great healing for all. Once we manage to activate the overall diamond code, this is when the twin flames, masculine, feminine, in our light bodies and rainbow aura will be fully activated in the physical also. We are one with the tree. We are made by the same technology as the tree. Today we manage to open the way for one third of the overall code to be established in the immediate future. We did not complete the one-third of the code, but we opened the way for this to happen soon. Blessings of personal and generational health to all. Eri ni, el moriana, anadi miana, hunama anata kumara, yellow galactic warrior. From Divine Sister of the Light, Asara Adams. Energy update by Archangel Mikael. Greetings, beloved ones. We are sending you blessings of love and light in this now moment, and we are inviting you to open your heart to our message for you. Beloved one, know that you are well on your way out of the illusion of the third dimension and into God's reality, heaven on earth, the fifth dimension. Even if it might seem like not much is changing and lower dimensional experiences are still in your awareness, there is much help and assistance available to you. All it takes is a little willingness to ask to enter God's reality following your inner knowing of your truth. Your asking will allow God to give you the strength to continue to reach for the higher dimensional reality, heaven on earth. This divine strength will assist you to see through the illusion of separation and judgment, the absence of love. It will assist you to recognize your God self and the God self of others, even if the illusion displays the opposite. The illusion is not real. God's reality is real. God in you and all in your world is real. Begin to see through the illusion with determination and continue to ask for God's divine strength of love to dissolve the illusion, to make heaven on earth appear right in front of your eyes. This process is not a matter of if this will happen, it is a matter of when it will happen. This is the grand awakening from the dream of the illusion. And just like a dream, it will disappear into nothing to make way for heaven on earth. And as you are receiving God's divine strength of love, we are by your side from the host of angels and ascended masters to continue to encourage you on your path. Know that all is well, beloved ones. Welcome home. We are walking beside you every step of the way. Dear ones, you are loved beyond measure, always. I am Archangel Mikael and I bring you this truth. From teloschannel.com And from Divine Sister of the Light Karen Lithica, Heart Gateway. Understand this light rhythm is now activated. A light stream moving through your cellular light expression. Encoded light like a black and white TV, now in color. This light evolution is us. I am shown the heart organ, 
the light chambers of the heart like rooms of light waiting to be explored opened and released as the journey of light and expansion is unfolding before you simply see the task as a way shore to learn about your light to explore the deep caverns the path to self-discovery and awakening for the light pulsation of your world is evolving activating awakening to the freedom of true light and liberation the cellular expression of this harmonic light signature is the true resonance of all species prepare to awaken to your cellular history simply bathe in this light we send to the way shores as the narrative of your world is just a narrative always remember the true light pulsation of the universe enjoy the 1111 frequencies the arcturians and karen from karenlithica.com and from divine sister of the light colleen lemma early monday morning november 13th at 4:27 a.m est we have a new moon at 20 degrees scorpio this means today sunday we are in the dark of the moon phase and a time of quiet self-reflection and contemplation luna will connect with chiron the wounded healer sunday so we may feel intensely emotional as old traumas from this and other lifetimes bubble up to the surface from the subconscious realm this is part of a purging clearing and transmutation process to release what we no longer need to carry a new moon is about new beginnings but scorpio rules the energy of death and rebirth so this one will also be filled with endings as well prepare for a transformation on a deep soul level this lunation will connect to uranus the great awakener mars the warrior and neptune the transcender there are a lot of powerful energies going on with this new moon set your intentions for healing and how you would like to move forward in this cycle and may the force be with you blessings of love and light to all from sacred soul empowerment dot com and today from divine sister of the light leah whitehorse lunar aspects chiron retrograde and aries sextile hygia and aquarius the mars uranus opposition still clangs in the background we're moving towards the new moon and it's a stormy emotional climate as luna opposes giant jupiter there is potential for magnification of feelings so it's to smaller players we must turn to find relief and sanctuary the connection between chiron and hygeia links to two medical symbols and invites us to take care of our health mental physical emotional and spiritual well-being are all linked right now it's about channeling our energies effectively knowing when to be active and when to rest it's about spending time with friends who cheer you up when you are down or who listen when you need to talk it's frosty morning walks beside sparkling cobwebbed hedgerows a kick about in the park or a long run to shake off the blues it's meditation reflection hands-on healing reiki crystals stretches yoga team games or just a moment's pause to watch the sunrise or sunset tune into your body and its rhythms create space for mental clarity breathe from leahwhitehorse.com and today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 23, Blue Planetary Night. Planetary is the name for the number 10, and its keywords are perfect, produce, and manifest. The 10th day of a wave spell is great for manifesting things. In fact, it's the perfect opportunity. It is also a very tenacious number, which helps us succeed in our missions. Whatever day this number combines with, it adds a special something, like the cherry on top of the cake. It has a magical quality too as good things seem to manifest out of thin air. Today is blue night which represents dreams and abundance. Today is keen 23, a special number. The blue night is always dreamy with lovely energy, full of ideas and sometimes fantasies. If you have dreams, today is a great day for them to come true. It's the perfect day. Combine the meaning of number and day and the result is manifest dreams or produce abundance. The blue night symbolizes that all abundance comes from dreaming. It is our human imagination that sparks creation. And so today dream away. It is your human nature. 
There is a lot of power today with that perfect number 10, and so we can get lost in our imaginations and dream the day away. And today from Divine Sis Starved Light Christina Papa Giorgio, Blue Planetary Night, 10 Akbal, Keen 23, 12th of November 2023. Abundance, 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 manifesting the planetary dream. 12, 11, 20, 23, equal 3, 2, 7, equal 3, 9, equal 12, equal 3, 12, 12, 3, 3, Holy Trinity. Day codes, 12, spiritual wisdom, strength. 3, Holy Trinity, joy, happiness, creativity. Month year codes, 11, gate, portal, polarity, illumination. 2, twins, partners, alliances, cooperation, duality. 7. Spiritual Test, Initiation, Solitude, Magic, Mystic, Magician. 9. Completion, Endings, Mission, Destiny, Service, Humanitarian, Grace. 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision. 23. Royal Star of the Lion, Strength, Protection, Support. Keen 23 equal 5. Freedom, Change, Revolution, Make a Wish. Calling all planetary kin, today is a phenomenal day for personal, collective, and planetary manifestation. We have an incredible alignment of codes and frequencies to tap into for the manifestation of prosperity, happiness, and success. We have a divinely magical abundance code to manifest miracles today. The tone of creation is planetary tone 10 of manifestation, and we have a heavenly 3-3 equals 6 code. Add the wizard's magic and the monkey magic, and we have four times the power to create our dreams. But that's not all. And then we add the blue knight, genie power, kaboom, five times the magic manifesting power. Great spiritual magic miracles, a mana from heaven today. Tomorrow, Monday the 13th, November 2023, is a 1313 cosmic code with the yellow spectral seed when we can liberate our dream seeds into the cosmos so they can germinate. What are you manifesting? Cast your dream seeds now. It is time to claim our freedom and divine rewards. Today's codes are providing great impetus to fuel our planetary dream for manifesting the new way dreaming, anchored through the expression of liberation following yesterday's 111111 gateway. In order to anchor this new harmonic matrix, we must first claim our sovereignty through liberation. This requires full disclosure of the truth of the lie that we have been believing that has kept humanity enslaved in the dark, hypnotic dream spell nightmare. First we need to see before we can set ourselves free. Day 10 of the White Wizard Wave Spell is the day our magic manifests into our reality. Our wizard is finally done gathering all his magical tools and potions, and today he is ready to cast his new dream spell. Tone of Creation, Planetary Tone 10 in the Physical Realm Action produces, power perfects, essence manifestation. The planetary tone operates in the physical reality and so will have a very strong influence on our global reality today. The tenth stage of the white wizard wave spell is the perfection of all we imagined as possible and more. It is the harvest stage where we happily reap our manifest splendor. The forms we have been imagining begin to manifest into our reality and our lives begin to reflect the great dreams that we desire. Planetary energies enable us to build and manifest strong, healthy relationships with ourselves and others today. We have the power to manifest and produce incredible prosperity, happiness, and joy, both in our hearts and the planetary heart of Gaia, as we are all one heart. Go forth, white divine magicians, and perfect your manifestations with five times the spiritual power. Now is the time to manifest our bliss on earth. A whole planetary kin to our success. What a magical story, what a cast of super characters. What a marvelous day. zippity doo da. Today's question is how can I use my magical superpowers to produce the manifestation of my most beautiful dreams? and our collective dream of planetary peace, prosperity, and harmony. 
planetary service as it is such a magical and powerful planetary manifestation day i recommend you utilize these energies to manifest your dreams and also assist in permanently anchoring our 5d timelines for nova gaia you may wish to light a candle create an altar and or crystal grid dedicate a crystal meditate visualize or sit out in nature connecting with the sun whatever you intuit is divinely perfect Always give gratitude for your manifestation and add with harm to none. This or something better universe. 10 10, 11 11 a.m. or p.m. is a brilliant portal time to do this, or you may choose a 7 combo, such as 707 or 747 for magic, or 555 for liberation and moving forward, or 808 for abundance and infinite flow. Today is the day to hold the dream for planetary abundance. What's good for Gaia is fantastic for us. Let's do this, star bliss suns. Let's manifest heaven on earth. Divine blessings to manifest your perfected dreams and our beautiful new world filled with peace, love, joy, and abundance. Hooray! In la ketch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 23, Blue Planetary Night. The mantra, the code for today is, I perfect in order to dream, producing intuition. I seal the input of abundance with the planetary tone of manifestation. I am guided by the power of magic. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below, what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. If you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you could either make a monthly pledge or a one-time donation to the links at egolovecondor.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Sis Star of the Light, Natalie Rose Smith, for another super thanks donation on YouTube. Thank you very much, Divine Sis Star. We appreciate you and your continued support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful for each and every one of you. I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful divine decree from Divine Sister of the Light, Camila Brito. Your presence is able to transform the vibration of a space. Raise your vibration. Divine decree. Today I am making a conscious choice. I choose to raise my vibration and allow my inner light to shine brightly. I decide to leave behind any negativity, doubt, or fear that can stop me from reaching my full potential. With every positive thought, every act of kindness, and every moment of gratitude, I am creating a radiant energy around me. From now on, I tune into the universe, opening my heart to receive joy, abundance, and infinite opportunities. It is through raising my vibration that I find inner peace, true happiness, and a deeper connection with my authentic self. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and sacred new moon in Scorpio tomorrow as we continue our journey through the ascension portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.